Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your extra daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with Excalibur. Um, this is a tier 6 Revar tank which is leading to, well in other words after Excalibur you are going for Chimera and 279 e uh, and to be fair with you, this tank is not that horrible. Yeah, it has a weird shape, but you have semi-rotatable turret or semi-rotatable nose, if I can say so. And it is not really typical your tank destroyer, if I can say so. Uh, other than that, um, gun handling is relatively fine on this vehicle, I definitely cannot complain about this. So all and all vehicle is kind of decent for tank you are getting for free or completing missions right it is unique tank enough and it is interesting tank to play with in a way um that's about it now speaking about the gun it has 150 alpha damage it has oh how are you doing buddy how are you doing oh stopped in the middle oh I like it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nice. Okay, so speaking about the gun, 150 alpha damage, whoa, ooh, 150 alpha damage, 165 millimeters of penetration, 910 shell velocity, which is decent. And speaking about the gold, you are getting extra penetration, 30. Um, and obviously, you are getting shell velocity. So all and all, obviously, APCRs are just better than a standard ammunition. Uh, but we should be used for this already to be completely honest with you just how world of tanks works for a long time already okay all we need to do fellas we need to open our eyes and obviously we need to punish absolutely everyone who is crossing through the open field now speaking about this tank in this map let's get real paris is not a great uh, map for um, tank destroyers or for uh, let's say medium tanks unless you have a bit of the armor because usually in this map the biggest fight is uh, uh, near the bridge or however you would call this at least that's what i think Okay, so far we are losing this game by quite a bit of... Ah, one more thing which I really forgot to tell and this is very very important thing. This vehicle has absolutely amazing... Oh, this vehicle has absolutely amazing... Um, oh, wait. We got this. We got this. Absolutely amazing high explosive ammunition. So if you are meeting, let's say... Um, enemy light tanks, what you need to do with this vehicle, you need to load high explosives. 70 millimeters of penetration is a lot. Uh, and you can deal with the Hellcats, you can deal with the light tanks and so on so on. And this is what I think we are going to showcase in a moment. Let's see. If this Vaza is going to be greedy enough to make pressure, which I want to believe he will be greedy enough, we are going to spank him like there is no tomorrow. Okay, plan B. It is not really worth the time and effort anymore, and the main reason being is because Hellcat is getting extremely, extremely close, uh, and this is not so good. Ooh, minus 3000 hit points. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, prepare for a Hellcat. I repeat, prepare for a Hellcat. If I am not mistaken, this gentleman is going to pick like this, okay? Light tank, hi, how are you doing? Beautiful. Now, high explosive ammunition to this light tank face. Beautiful. So far, so good. Yeah, I know I am kind of trading. I am very, very well aware of that, but there is absolutely nothing what I can change about this, to be fair with you. So, yeah. Uh, speaking about the current situation, 3 to 8, 3 to 9. Fellas, that's World of Tanks. Let's teleport to the scoreboard. Considering, fellas, what kind of situation we had, we cannot complain with the score. 1.6, 1.7 thousand, this is fine. Uh, once again, not the finest map for us. We are fourth by experience. We are a third by the damage. That's okay. We did not lost any credits whatsoever. This is completely fine. And that's what we have. Uh, so once again, there is nothing to be sad about. It's just how World of Tanks is looking like nowadays. And nothing 
nothing what you can do about this. Meanwhile, fellas, uh, I want to say thank you for every single of you uh, for using the index page, obviously for watching the YouTube videos um, as well. Um, as you can see, we are changing the direction um, slowly from the extra channel. We are not seeing as many lower tier gameplay, but we are seeing those um, good games highlighted from the live streams, right? Uh, some of them are good, some of them are better than good. Um, and that's what we are doing. And the, re and the main reason being why we are going to this direction, fellas, uh, is very, very simple. The thing is, we are running out of the lower tier tanks to make content with. Uh, and I do not want to uh, non-stop um, turn the lower tier content in this channel. Uh, so I hope you are enjoying that type of videos as well. And obviously, by any means, this is only the start. There is still um, quite some stuff for us to do, fellas. Okay, so what do we have? We have a tier 6 matchmaking, that's good, and we need to figure out actually where to play in this game. What I do not like, I do not like enemies have the T-50, and this T-50 will go like crazy mother trucker, fellas, I can promise you that. He will go in front like a crazy lunatic, fellas. This is how the things will look like, and here you go. What did I said about crazy lunatic thing? What did I said about crazy lunatic thing, huh? So as you can see, T-50 is making as much pressure as he physically and possibly can. And this is going to be quite a problem to dig this gentleman out of this position. Now the thing is, um, I need to question myself, do I want to make pressure for him? And yes, I do. Um, there is only one reason why am I doing this, because this light tank is literally the biggest pain in the ass for us in this game. If we are going to deal with this light tank, we are going to be relatively fine and we can enjoy ourselves. So once again, at this point I am a weird, I am spotted, but in the same time I am outspotting this, uh, this guy himself. And once again, I think a risk is worth the price in this kind of situation. We just simply needed to eliminate him from the game. That's what I'm trying to say. Meanwhile, remember fellas in the main YouTube channel today I said to fix your settings. Uh, this is extremely important thing because in this kind of situation we know clearly where this gentleman is uh, um, is facing and what is happening. Also, uh, I heard all sorts of opinions about this change or about this uh, uh, this feature, and I think it is absolutely amazing for a newer player in the world of tanks and even for. Uh, um, not necessarily newer player, but not as experienced player. I know quite a bit of the fluffy unicorns are going to be salty about this because uh, even average player will be able to find the shots way, way easier to them. Uh, but I want to believe for majority of the people this is extremely good change and uh, kudos to our gaming for doing this. Um, World of Tanks doesn't need to be super duper hyper turbo complicated in order to uh, have some fun or in order to enjoy ourselves, fellas. Um, simple, it is not simple game by any shape or any form and please keep this in mind. And this small change is not going to be, um, it is not going to change World of Tanks experience completely, right? It is not going to change everything. Although it is quality of life change, if I can say so. So, looking into this battle, you can say whatever you want, but by the looks of it, enemy team is kind of uh, sucking up EP, fellas. That's what I can tell you. Um, yeah, previous game, we were the ones who were taking one for the team, and we were crying in the corner, and boom, 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 um, 15 to 5. This game is looking completely different. Well, by saying completely different, we are making sure enemies will enjoy themselves to the maximum, right? Um, and uh, yeah, we are doing that by bursting this poor Churchill ass. That's what we are doing, fellas. Okay, I have an idea. We need to figure out how to beat the Skoda. I think 70 penetration is, is actually enough to deal with this gentleman. So what we are going to do, we will try to get a bit closer and we will try first of all with the first shot, you know, can we penetrate him or we cannot. 
Okay, beautiful. Uh, to be fair with you, yeah, it looks like we can beat the living crap out of this guy. He shot twice and now we are going to enjoy ourselves. That's one. High explosives are going like hot knife through the butter. At least I want to believe so. Mm, not exactly what I want to see. That's okay. Relax, take it easy. I'm aiming for track. Actually, I thought he's going to go back quicker. He's going on the reload, it doesn't really change absolutely anything, beautiful, he's down to one shotable, in fact he is dead, and all we need to do, we need to say hello for Arta. So looking into this game, this is so much better than the previous game, but I must admit fellas, we have so much bigger advantage in this kind of situation as well. By saying this, I mean, um, we are dealing with tier 6s. Uh, but we have open map and for this tank this is exactly what you want this is exactly what you need also i must admit i kind of like the high explosive marker like this to be fair with you um it is more visible than it was before if before it was uh, kind of hard to say person is shooting high explosives at you at, or not you know by simply glancing there for a millisecond now you know exactly gold is gold you know um the high explosives are dark and the ap's are like um brownish or however to say that actually grayish sorry so yeah anyways 2.3 thousand damage 600 assisting damage i am happy with this performance we are second by the damage we are second by experience and this was a uh, this vaca did an absolutely amazing job good for him very very nice all in all i am happy with this battle more games like this so what we are going to do we are going to go for round number three let's go Beautiful. Okay, last match, Tundra. Once again, this is not really the map you would love to play with Excalibur, but this is what we have. Ah, one more extremely, extremely important thing. Looks like we're gaming fix the climb here, fellas. So if you learn it how to climb, uh, do not bother anymore. As you can see, it has changed quite a bit. Even the structure of the rocks are changed, right? So, um, in a way, do not waste your time to go there. Uh, that wasn't actually quick for our gaming to deal with this. Um, well, I can't call it bug. Let's say with this climb, it took for them like five patches or so to deal with it. So, yeah. Um, definitely not the fastest... Uh, reaction time from our, our gaming side do i think it is a good thing it is um fixed to be fair with you i think it is pretty nice thing i was abusing it quite a bit i can tell you from my side okay so we are not going to make any pressure whatsoever because this tank is not created for this. In fact, one more thing which I really want to highlight about this tank. Since this tank is having a size of the fridge and in fact probably the um, features of the fridge, uh, fridge as well, you can get easily penetrated by the art. Believe me, fellas. So this is extremely important thing to say and unfortunately, fellas, if art is going to hit you, you are not going to enjoy yourself and you are going going to lose pretty much most of your hit points which is going to be more likely penetration towards you so yeah hashtag never lucky anyways uh looking into this situation i am feeling pretty good fellas um what do i mean by saying this is if enemies will try to make some kind of pressure in one or another way we are going to farm them like there is no tomorrow this is how the things are going to look like Obviously, I am not even thinking to be too aggressive because there is no point whatsoever. Why would I go against the heavy tank in front or why would I go whatever through the bridge or somewhere elsewhere? Doesn't really matter, right? We need to be smart if we want to play with this vehicle well and this is exactly how we are playing the game. Also, fellas, please pay attention to those markers. They are looking so good. They are looking so good. It is easy to aim and it is easy to do this stuff. At least in my humble opinion. Okay. We will try to secure this flank. This is our goal and this is our plan. Okay. Very nice. I have an idea. 
Obviously what I want to see, I want to see enemies getting involved here, but not that much. If that makes sense. I want to see them making pressure, but not that much. Ah, yeah, 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 you found the angle. Good for you. Okay. So, what do we need to do at this point? At this point, we need to retreat back a bit because Mr. Arl is going like this. Um, so, we are pretty much asking for help. If I'm not mistaken, this cover one is not a FK, and I'm pretty sure this gentleman is ready to help us. Or, um, he is not. Actually, this is debatable. Is this guy a FK or not? Well, time will show everything, I guess. So... At this point, yep, we have heavy tank number 6 and we have Arl. What would be the worst thing for us? If both of them would make a hardcore pressure, this would be probably the worst thing. Now, that's one. He's down to one shotable or down to fartable and in fact he's going in the garage, beautiful. What do I want to do at this point? At this point I want to figure out can I find a decent enough angle to punish this Mr. Arl. And if this guy will try to go back... I believe we should be able to do bad things for him. Although, do I want to take one for the team? This is the question, fellas. Do I want to take one for the team? Oh. This is, this is pixel hunting. That's how I call this, fellas. This is a pixel hunting for sure. Okay, Arl, how are you doing? One, beautiful. He's down to two shotable. And he is down to one shotable. And he is officially dead. Excellent. Okay, so far we have done everything properly in this game. And soon we are going to approach the M10. Now, M10 doesn't have the greatest armor ever, but he doesn't have the worst armor either. So, what we need to figure out how to do the things, we need to simply go for him. He's running away, I'm going to load high explosives because there is a big chance I will see his booty. And now we are going to have a great time. One, uh, he is actually up for trades I assume. Not exactly what I was looking for. I thought he will kaku himself a bit but no, I am dead. Chance it. Oh, chance it fellas. Oh, chance it. That was way too close. I can tell you that. That was way too close, fellas. And he's dead. -hoo -hoo. Okay. Um, not the smartest play from my side. I am not going to lie, fellas. But that's what we have. Good. No complaints, no regrets. Very, very nice. Victory is victory even in the ass. Um, and I know I made a mistake against this gentleman. Luckily for us, he did not really react it properly. If I can say so, and it pretty much saved our butt. So, all in all, fellas, in 20 minutes, fellas, in 20 minutes we played three games, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, I think we played as good as we physically and possibly could to uh, this vehicle and too much making which we had. And obviously the score is not horrible, but in the same time it is not excellent by any shape or any form. And the main reason being why is it not excellent? Well, with nowadays games when the situation um, is kind of 15 to... Uh, yeah, I could expect that. That's on me. Ooh, Grille, you are so beautiful. You are so pretty. Uh, fellas, it is not nice to say what I'm going to say, but I'm kind of glad Grille one shot at our friend, to be fair with you, fellas. So we can go and claim Grille alive. I know disgusting, dirty, please don't judge me. Even Katita is judging me right there, fellas. I can see that. Anyways, uh... Once again, victory is victory even in the butt. I think 2000 in this game is nice. And once again, considering what kind of mistake I have done, um, I would say this is definitely um, amazing performance or good performance for this battle and for this matchmaking overall. I think what I could do differently, I think I could farm enemies more if I would fire more APCR ammunition, to be fair with you. But yeah, once again, what can you do? Uh, even though we did not trigger brother in arms, we are going to say thanks for this gentleman, beautiful. And what do we have? We have a high caliber, we have a Spartan medal, we have Bilotes medal uh, for 
um, four kills, a 2.1 thousand damage. Yeah, that's that's okay. To buy experience and to buy the damage as well. I'm happy. Meanwhile, what do we have? We have 1.9 thousand damage and 200 assisting damage with this tank. I am happy with my session, fellas. Um, and overall, answer how you are playing with this tank like a typical tank destroyer, but in the same time you have to retain those annoying city maps or even in the tundra. It worked pretty well, you know, I do not need to expose my tank that much. So, Excalibur is not bad tank whatsoever. I am happy with this vehicle, fellas. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a great time and I hope you enjoyed yourself and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.